Hi, it's Miss Heron. You're ready for more instructions. Okay, so uh, let's make sure that the windows are there. We're going to select the arrow and we're going to start writing some melody. Now in this first bit, the G7 chord is G, B, D, F natural. So we're going to hang around those notes on beats one and beat three of the bar. Um, so beat one, uh, I want to use a rhythm that's different to the uh, quartz at the, at the bottom. So let's start on a B. Oh, now I've just made a mistake. I meant to feed in uh, a C on that note. So I'm going to up, up arrow it. So also entering notes, you can up arrow, down arrow them. Now I want to change to crotchet. Once again, I've made a mistake, so I'm going to up arrow it. It's a very fast way of correcting your own mistake. So that bit, as you can hear, goes da 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 da. Uh, I'm going to carry on in the same way. Maybe da da. Whoops. Di da. Di da bum. That's syncopation. That da da da. Now here I'm going to do something tricky and I'm going to put a tie across the bar. So you can see there that's where you do it and you make sure that you've clicked uh, a rhythmic notation as well. Da -da. There we go. Now you click again to deselect it. Now I might leave the rest of that bar free. Uh, so I'm going to click on window, simple entry rest palette. That comes up so we can put some rest in. Um, we need, oh, it's got the dot on, so take that off. Perfect. Let's go to the next bar. So we've already got, um, before I put in the next bar, I just want to hear what we've already got. So that's where the playback controls come in. And this is the beauty of this program. Okay. It sounds a bit stodgy, so what I'm going to do is go to MIDI audio, human playback, and select the jazz version of the playback. And then that allows it to be much cooler <laughs> and not as stodgy. Have a listen. See? Now we need something here. So let's go up an octave. Now I want to go dun, dun, ba, da, da, something like that. So um, for that we need an F natural. We need the quaver and an F natural. Once again, deselect it once you've finished it. I've made a mistake, so um, if you go Command-Z, that takes you a step back, which is always very handy. Now let's listen to, to it once again.
Okay, that sounds pretty cool. If that's too tricky for you in terms of rhythm, just use a mix of crotchets and quavers and um, hang around those chordal notes and you'll be fine.